We have conditioned our kids. If you don't have, you don't make a lot of money, you don't have a big house, you don't have a big car, you're not successful. Well, everybody's not going to make a lot of money. In case you haven't seen this interview snippet, I want to show you this as the beginning of this video. I know that you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources. And some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Now, we're going to get back to the part about her having difficulty finding a mate because she actually talked about this on a different video but she's basically saying that the men aren't up to snuff and so what am i supposed to do about it would you date a bus driver you would you date if a he bus owns driver? the bus if he owns no. it if he owns the bus See, that's, a problem. that's a problem that's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. Now, that's a good point that I Iyanla makes, and I'm gonna get to that point of it, but one thing that we're seeing in modern day society, and it's getting exported all over the world, don't, don't think it's not, is, is that men's contribution to society is based on a number. If your number is higher, you're more of a man, you're more valuable. If that number's smaller, you're less than a man, you're less valuable, and Nobody wants to date a quote unquote broke guy. Nobody mm -hmm. wanna know that we're not to fall, like. Here's why I don't date broke men. A man being financially stable and a provider is the bare minimum you should be accepting in a relationship. So how much in fact do women these days hate quote unquote broke men? You're gonna hear it here. You also exactly. recently announced something really exciting that you are going to start the fertility process mm -hmm. and um, pursue single, mo single motherhood. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I feel like you've spoken about this before, so yeah. I know it's something you wanted to do. I have to credit uh, all of you ladies at this table because one of the first times I was on as a guest host, remember, Sunny, one of the hot yeah. topics we talked about was the an uh, anonymous nature of sperm donors. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I got an education on that right here live on TV mm -hmm. with Hot Topics uh, at The View. Turns out I now have a known donor. I went through California Cryo Bank. Fantastic experience. And at 18, my future child, God willing, will be able to know the name, identity, yeah. and last known location of their father. I don't know much about this lady besides what she said in these two particular videos, but what her actions suggest is that she would deem it better to raise her child without a physical father present than to raise that child with someone that she sees as beneath her. And so that child is going to grow up without a father because that is preferable to dating someone that she just doesn't see as on her level or higher. And decisions like these are bound to have effects on society. Listen, if you have to wait until you get paid to buy me something, give me money, send me somewhere on vacation while you work, um, if you're going to hit me with the, babe, go ahead and pay it and I'll pay you next week when I get paid, bleh. Listen, my advice to you is to stay single and save your money. You cannot afford to be in no relationship, especially with a woman like me. Giannis Antetokounmpo had a very thoughtful response to a reporter asking him, do you feel that your season's a failure because you didn't win the championship? And on Inside the NBA, they had a very good discussion in response to that. But let me, what, what bothers me about the whole thing is, in our country, we have conditioned our kids. If you don't have, you don't make a lot of money, you don't have a big house, you don't have a big car, you're not successful. Well, everybody's not gonna make a lot of money. 
You can be the best trash man in the world and be a wonderful person. I admire teachers. They're the hardest working people in the world. They're successful. Uh, but we have built this thing in this country because you, you know when you go speak to kids, what's the first thing they ask you? What kind of car you What drive? kind of car you drive? That's the first thing they ask you. And I say, yo, man, I, no, that's, that's not success. I, I, so I wish everybody could make a lot of money. I wish everybody could have a big house and all that other crap that goes with it. But I say, yo, man, being a good person, if you're a trash man, be the best trash man. If you're a secretary, be the best secretary. But they also look at failure as not having that car. That's the point. And that's the point. It's that's not even point. success as having, it's failure if you don't have it. The conversation they're having is basically that you are boiling down a man's success to a financial number. And in a way, men should be producers. Make no mistake about it. But if you measure a man based on how much money he produces, then that's going to have men making different decisions. And when men make different decisions, those decisions are going to have an effect on society. And we're starting to see those effects now. And the PSA today is the reason why I will never date a broke man. Ladies, stop dating broke men. Why you still do this today? I'm gonna tell you guys some advice on dating broke men. First of all, don't. Of course we know the word broke is relative. I would say that in the 1990s, broke was probably a guy sleeping on the couch who just doesn't do anything all day but play video games. Now in 2023, broke is more than likely evolved into a man who makes enough money to relieve me of my financial obligations and provide a certain type of lifestyle for me. And so you get a steady stream of TikToks like these. I don't dig broke men, not because I wanna take advantage of men, but because I'm not broke and I have a quality of life that I currently have and I wanna keep that same quality. So why would I date somebody that's broke? It's okay to be broke, we just not gonna get together. You can see a commonality running through the videos and the commonality is if you're a man, your value as a man is how much money can you provide? What kind of lifestyle can you give me? And as a man, you're basically being told your value is not in investing in the community around you. It's not in being a person of good moral character. It's not in being a understanding mate because more likely than not if a person is going to work and they're trying to be a good decent citizen they're working on all of these things but if you put a hyper focus on how much money you make then men are going to make different decisions and you're starting to see the effect of men making different decisions like this the guardian number of male teachers in england drops to all-time low as pay levels drop sydney morning herald the push for more male teachers fails to increase numbers. Where have all the male teachers gone? There is no incentive for men to be teachers. There's no incentive for men to be people that help the community go get money. And so when men abandon posts or jobs that would help the community, you start to see effects from it. Everybody online says that working a nine to five is a scam and I'm a loser and I'm trapped in the matrix if I don't want to be an entrepreneur. Do you have any advice? I live in a country where education, as in being a teacher, even as an elementary school teacher, is seen as a wonderful job for a husband and is a very marriageable man. And when you have men in the school, it reflects in the kind of education that children are getting. But when you take men out of the school because nobody wants to marry a quote-unquote broke teacher you get these problems but so many children don't even have the presence of a real strong loving man in their lives they don't see male teachers because teaching is not necessarily a profession that men gravitate to because the pay too low while we at it let's go on and increase right. the pay mm -hmm. of teachers the people that mold minds but that parent patrol is an excellent idea it has been done before and we should do it again. The idea of paying parents for parent patrol is in itself oxymoronic, if you will, because you're basically saying we have to monetarily incentivize parents to take an interest in the well-being of their children and the quality of education that they're getting, which would be happening normally if you had two parents who are invested in a child's education and more likely than not if you choose someone that's hardworking and has good qualities 
uh, uh, characteristics, if you will, they're going to do this without being paid for it. They're going to do it because they want to see their, their children prosper. But if those men are not getting selected, then you have to monetarily incentivize people caring about the well-being of the schools. Better yet, you're having some women say, I don't even need a man to help me raise the children anyways. And then you get these issues. Where she funded parent patrols in and around schools. Now they weren't armed, mm -hmm. but it was just the very nature of their presence. So could there be a beautiful thing in helping a community and funding, paying people to be out there? And they don't have to physically be a parent, like biologically be a parent, mm -hmm. but people in the community, particularly men. Need men who are not biological parents to take an interest in the community. Now explain the, the oxymoronic position in that. Uh, you guys are not good enough to make the children, but we need you to come in and help us raise the children. We've heard this before, but the better question is who are the men that made the children and why aren't they there? And better yet, why didn't the women who made the children with these particular men require those particular men to do this job? Looks money. Because we need some more man energy. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn what nobody else got to say. Mm -hmm. And I'm every woman. And I'm fine with saying that we need some more man energy. Because mm -hmm. I know some of them folks out there don't believe in that. <laughs> but we need some more man energy out there. And Notice that she said man energy like three or four times. Again, every child that comes to this planet, there is a man involved in making that child. Where are those men at? And why aren't they taking an interest in making sure the communities are better? It's because they're being chosen for reasons other than being of good moral character, because men of good character are going to naturally be there. And especially in black communities to see black men out there around school. Mm -hmm. In some cases, too many of our households in the black community are run by women because, you know, certain things are popping off. I get it. But to love and embrace a community, there's an African proverb that says it takes a village and let the village come together. And women too. I'm not saying we don't need women, but so many children don't even have the presence of a real strong loving man in their lives. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If you notice the qualifier, the qualifier went straight to does he own the bus? And that is how you end up with schools that are basically paying adults to care about children because parents in in this case fathers are being chosen by how much money they have or how much perceived money they have or how good they look i guess and so if you do that and you have every right to do it then you end up with school boards begging parents or should i say begging adults to come help raise the children but the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well. But if you get ready to ask him about who a particular girl is to him or where he was at last night and he hits you with the, you ain't my girl, that's not acting like he wants a relationship. I'm not good at picking avocados, and one reason why is because it's difficult to look at the outside of an avocado and make a decision about what's inside the avocado. Fortunately for us, in dating, we shouldn't have this problem because people reveal their character to us and we can make decisions on whether we're choosing to date these people or let them go. But when you place a heightened emphasis on looks, and specifically in today's case, money and income then that lets people in the door based on qualities that have nothing to do with their character and so you're seeing dating coaches who are now raking in money by counseling women who are dating exclusively for looks and money and finding that these guys don't have the best character mainly because they don't need the character to get in the door in the first place and so what happens you incentivize guys to not have the best character and not contribute to society because that's not what's getting attention and on the other end you have schools who actually have to incentivize parents and adults in the community to care about the education of children 
being a person who deeply was deeply infected by some of the male teachers that I had, I am very saddened to see this, but this is what happens when you incentivize money making over character. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.